So today I'm talking about a P000C code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P000C code? Well, it's an A Camshaft Position Slow Response Bank 2. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called camshaft position sensors and they're monitoring the camshaft as it spins. And these sensors are reporting that there's some kind of issue going on, that the camshaft's not moving the way it's supposed to be moving. And it's reporting this information back to the computer. So the computer's setting out this P000C code. So it's got to be troubleshooting to know why. And V6 and V8 engines are going to have two banks. Bank one side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder on your engine, that side of the engine is going to be bank one. And then the opposite of that is going to be bank two. And bank two side of the engine is going to be the side of the engine that the computer's seeing a problem with. And so what would be some possible causes of a P000C code? Well, the first thing to go and do is to check your engine oil and be sure that it's not low or really super dirty or anything like this, because low or dirty engine oil can cause issues. So the first thing to do is be sure that your oil looks like it's good. The next thing that could cause this is bad variable valve timing components. This is going to include things like the solenoid, the oil control valve, the actuator, the phaser, things along these lines. And basically, the variable valve timing adjusts the timing as the engine's running. And this can greatly improve performance at higher RPMs. You could get better gas mileage and things along these lines. But if one of these components start having an issue, then this could cause this code. And oil flows through all these components, and this is why low or dirty engine oil can cause issues. But basically, you're going to have a variable valve timing solenoid, sometimes also called an oil control valve. There's also what's called the actuator or phasers. And these set up on top of the engine and what the timing chain or timing belt ride on. And basically, if there's any problem with any of these components, they can cause a P000C code. So the next thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of issue going on with the variable valve timing. And the next thing on the list is going to be a bad timing chain or timing belt. And basically what's going on with these is that all of these are going to have a timing mark. They have these timing marks and they all need to line up. And if they don't line up, if one of these marks is a little bit before or a little bit after, like the belt slipped or something along these lines, so that's going to cause problems. One thing that happens with these timing chains or timing belts is that when they get old and they have a lot of mileage on them, is that they become really loose. And so when the engine's running, it's just throwing off the timing just a little bit which the camshaft position sensor is picking up, and then the computer is seeing this, and it's sending out this P000C code. Another thing that causes the belt to be loose is the tensioner. And basically, there's a tensioner that holds everything tight, and if there's some kind of issue with it, if it's not holding everything tight, then that can cause the timing chain or timing belt to be loose, and that can cause issues. But the next thing on the list is going to be a bad timing chain or timing belt or a bad tensioner. The next thing on the list is going to be a bad camshaft position sensor. And usually when you have a bad camshaft position sensor, you're going to get another code. You'd get like a camshaft position sensor code. But it is possible that it's having some kind of issues and it's just reporting bad information back to the computer. But like I said, usually when that camshaft position sensor has some kind of problem with it, you're going to get other codes. So if you are getting another code, be sure to pay attention to that. But the next thing on the list is going to be a bad camshaft position sensor. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And this is going to be like a bad engine control module or a bad powertrain control module. And this isn't too common. Usually when you get a P000C code, it's going to be something else. So it is fairly rare for there to be some kind of issue with the computer. But it is possible that there is some kind of issue going on with one of the computers. And so the next thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview with the P000C code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.